Hello there, so uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up this application that we started doing to call an Azure REST service, or any REST service for that matter, for, matter from an iOS iPhone app. And just to review quickly, uh, you can watch the other video, the, part, the first part of this. Um, we implemented GET, and this is how we did it, just to kind of briefly review the code. And that's that work that is working fine for us. So now what we need to do is actually do a post, which will let, let us create new data on this endpoint. So we'll start out uh, by copying a lot of the code. So I'm just going to grab all of this to start with, and we'll do some pretty we'll do some changes to this. But this is a good way to start. For example, it has our endpoint in it, and it has the URL set up, and it has the headers that we need to pass. The one additional thing we need to do, however, in addition to passing the headers, is we need to set the HTTP method. So that's your re URL request HTTP method, and it's simply a string. You just say you just uh, give the verb that you want to invoke. So this is going to be a post. Um, all of the all of the header information is the same. Now, what we're going to do here is want to pass data. So if we look over at uh, what a post looks like, just as a review, we have our headers here, and then we have the body. So you could try to figure out how to take all of this and pass this directly in as a set of strings, but there's actually um, a way to serialize a dictionary into JSON. And so we're going to take advantage of that by creating a dictionary and then loading the values into the dictionary, uh, the key value pairs essentially that we see in the post request here in the body. And uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. So we'll start out with a, with, um, there isn't a JSON dictionary type, there, there is an NS mutable dictionary type though, and we're just going to call this object JSON dictionary. And it is going to be an NS mutable dictionary. And then what we'll do is just set values. So uh, JSON dictionary set value. And we start with the value and then the key. And then we specify the key that this is for. So we know that on a post it's going to go ahead and create its own ID, but we'll fill it in just so that we don't run into any problems on the server. And then we can go through here and set the other values up. So um, let's do um, Whiting as our last name. And let's do Jennifer as the first name. So this is also a really easy way to deal with this in code, so we're not having to um, deal with a bunch of strings and worrying about all of that. We can just set everything up properly here. So we want a salary rate or a pay rate. So let's say this is 98.87. This is pay rate. And then we have dates, and the dates have to be in a particular format for MySQL. So we'll go ahead and set those up. And we can go ahead and copy this data, right? We don't need to keep, uh, we don't need to type in everything. So we'll grab this date. This is start date. Got a little bit too ahead of myself on copy and paste. And then this will do whatever date it is, but we, it needs to be later, so we'll do end date like that. So there's our JSON dictionary. And 
Then we need a place to store the serialized data, so that's just going to be a data object. And then we'll have a little bit of code here that's going to do the serialization. So JSON data is equal to, and we'll set up a try here on this, JSON serialization dot data. That's with JSON object is the JSON dictionary that we set up. And the options will be JSON serialization writing options with parentheses on the end of that. And then assuming that worked okay, we will set up our URL request body. So now we have the body formed and the JSON is just going to be equal to the JSON data. Very simple. And then we have a catch and we'll print out an error to the console if there's any problem with the serialization. That's important because you want to make sure that you send a valid, uh, validly formatted request. Okay, so creating JSON. So we got an error creating the JSON in this case, and we'll kick out of the of the routine if we do that. Okay. All right. So what's this complaining about? I guess we want no parentheses on there. Sorry about that. Okay. I can go ahead and dump out this JSON. I did that in previous examples just to say, well, what does this actually look like? We can do that the similar in a similar way that we dumped out the response down here. But um, we don't need to do that. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead. So now we have the, the we get our session. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and um, do things a little bit different here. Alright, so there's our post, and we'll try this out. So it should have added Jennifer Whiting with a pay rate of 9887. So let's go ahead and try that out, see if it works. Uh, I think it doesn't like this because I'm using the. Let's try this again. I, I think I need to type this out because I didn't hit tab on that. Or return. Okay. Options. Now we should be good. Okay, so our simulator's running. Once we do this, we can execute a get within the program, but I'm just going to jump over to DHC and look at it. That would be pretty printed for us. So the program's coming up. And we'll hit post. And the first thing we want to do is look and see what our response code was. So we got a 201 back, so that's good. If we jump over to DHC and do a get on everybody, There's Jennifer Whiting with the pay rate that we specified. So that worked great. Now what we will do is um, we'll go ahead and do a put 
and then we'll do a delete real quick. So these are these will go pretty pretty quick. So we'll go ahead and do those. All right, so we already have our routine set up. I'm going to grab this code real quick. Let's grab this code and we'll do our put. We're going to need our JSON dictionary again, so this is good code to grab. So we'll grab all of this. And we'll drop this in under our put. Remember, with put, we're going to be modifying a value. So what we will do is we will take Emily, or we will take, uh, sorry, Jennifer, and we will change her pay rate to 110.50. Okay, and we will change this from post to put. And that's it. This call is almost identical to post, so everything else would stay the same. So let's run this one. Let's do our put. Check our... Oh. It's like I made a typo. You probably saw that when I did it. So P-U-T, not P-U-T-T. -T. It came back and said the requested resource doesn't support a P-U-T-T, -T, which makes sense. All right, so here we go with our put. Wow. We got a 405 back, so we need to see what's going on here. Oh, sorry, we have to give it the ID, right? So that's where we're, that's the other change that we have to make. Sorry about that. So we need to look over here in DHC. It's ID 381, so we have to pass that through. And for consistency, we should do this. So you, we can have a lot of discussions about the design of these endpoints to say, well, should you be passing an ID through if you do it here and all kinds of things like that. And that's, that's great discussion about how you design your actual endpoints. And I'm trying to just kind of work through the mechanics of all this and not get too much into the design. But we'll have some subsequent discussions about that. Okay, so this one we got a 204 back and we should have raised her salary or her pay rate. So... If I go up here and do a get again, and there's her change salary at 110.50. All right, there's. Let's find somebody in here to delete. So I'm going to get rid of. We got some duplicates in here, so I'm going to get rid of 351 here, Shane Jensen. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. So the delete actually is the simplest of all these that we can do. We don't need the dictionary. So I will just grab this code and this will be done in just a few seconds. So we want 351, I believe, is the one we said we were going to delete right there. And so we, the, the method is delete. And we still need our header in here. We don't need the dictionary. We don't need to serialize the JSON, the dictionary into a JSON. Um, we just simply go ahead and make the call. And that's all there is to this one. So again, this is all the code here. So there's our endpoint URL, the forming the request, getting the session, and then going ahead and making the call asynchronously with put, just in case you didn't see it all. Here it is, same thing, endpoint, dictionary, serialization of the dictionary, session, making the call, checking the response. Then, of course, we have our post. A 
and finally our get. So let's do our delete, make sure that works, and then we'll be done. There's many different clients we can do with REST, so I'll be doing some other ones. Um, I've got to do a JavaScript one. I've had a request to do that. I just haven't gotten around to that one. That one's actually pretty simple to do, so it won't take very long, but just haven't gotten to it yet. So keep watching and keep bringing in those suggestions of uh, videos that you'd like to see or techniques or things that you might be struggling with. So let's do our get here and go down to 351, and you'll notice that that, that record has been removed. So it is gone now. All right, so that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this was useful to you. Please continue to uh, give us feedback on anything that you might want to see.